I've never never had that happen on the downwind like that. Oh, there's a goose. We almost hit a goose. Longwind traffic, King of Nine, two Delta Victor Crossing, two nine altitude, Bravo two Longwind. I got some muscles there. Yeah, we we had kind of a funky day for this. Um, On your um, Aspen, okay. Um, do you see what do you see? Uh, I'm just showing Jeppesen database valid. Uh, uh, it's talking about the Jeppesen database, okay. and then press either knob to accept. Okay, so punch the right knob. Okay. Now what do you see? I got the uh, airport diagram for KBJC. Okay, so let's do this. Let's take the red button in the upper right hand corner and yep. tap that quickly. Okay. Got it. And so, you should see an HS or an attitude indicator and an HSI. I do. Okay, press the middle button in, on the lower, right down at the bottom. Okay. Tap that and then tap the right one next to it. And you sh everything should be clear, all the warnings, and it should you should see a gray data bar between the HSI and the attitude indicator. I do. I got zero ground speed and zero true. Okay. And then notice oh, it says OAT yes. and it, uh, Fahrenheit, and that'll give us uh, the outside air temperature. And then below the altimeter setting, once we're flying, it'll give us the winds. Perfect. So you always know. And then over on the left side, you have TAS, which is true airspeed and ground speed. Okay. So now, in the lower right-hand corner... Okay. Take the uh, take the button that third button over the yes. one on the far right and tap it once and the screen down there there you should see a double blue okay. arrow. Okay, got it. Now tap it again and it should say 0 0.3 nautical miles to KLMO. Yes. Okay, so leave it right there and we'll let's listen to the A was below one two thousand temperature six Celsius dew point minus five altimeter three zero one six and I can set your altimeter from up here. Oh yeah, sorry, right, the bottom right bar and then you can turn your dial. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And so right now, so you can see what it feels like. Long okay. So you have the flight controls. I have the, I have the controls. You have the controls. So there we go. But oh, don't, don't use brake. No brakes. Okay. You can use rudder first. Okay, so I'm going to do the run up here. Okay. In order that we don't have to go in the corner there and burn up the brakes. Okay, so here we go. 
I'm running it up to 1800, and I'll have you cycle the prop when I tell you to. Okay, now let me go ahead and enrich in it. So notice, feel the uh, mixture control. Just put your finger on the mixture control. Got it. I'm moving it up now, and I'm at 1830, 1840. You can hear the RPM increasing. I'm at 1850. Might even get 1860. Okay, I'm going to take it a little bit past the 1850 and watch it come down. There we go. Perfect. Now, let me hit the mags. Nice drop. Two clicks to the right. Nice drop. So, cycle the prop. So, watch this. I'll cycle it the first time. Okay. You bring the blue lever back. And then, just like that. So, you bring it back and then take it forward again. Okay. Just like that. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, that's all we need to do. Just like that. Just like that. And, let's see. Take off. Got that. Oh, the apple's coming on, finally. Okay, so... We have everything good. So here's where I do another gum check, and I say, okay, gear is down and lock. Got the uh, blue prop, the prop full forward, power set, mixture set, flaps are up. Gas, undercarriage, mixture prop. Pump. So what I like to do is look at the opposite end of the runway. Make sure no eight balls are going to take off and hit us, right? Got it. Then I look out on final, and then I look on base and look out to the south. And I heard a guy inbound who's going to land on 2-9. So we're going to announce our departure, and then we'll pull out and let me show you how to steer okay, this. Okay, so powered up, okay. set the power, power set. Get it on up, get it on up, get it on up. Okay, I go, so we put the power forward. Okay. Power forward. Okay. Nice, brisk, right, just like that. Okay, now power is set. Power is set. Now, temps and pressures are okay, in the green. Now, heels on the floor, heels on the toes floor. on the bottom of the pedals. Keep And the torque is going to want to pull the plane to the... Uh, to the left, so you're going to use the right. So airspeed's alive, temps and pressures are in the green. So then we're, my airspeed indicator says 57, so we rotate here at 65, hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. Okay, rotate. Nice. Beautiful job. Now, look at your VSI. Long line traffic. Got it. Positive rate. Right. Bring, Bring up right. the gear. Departing one way two nine. Gear up. In the pattern as well. Nice. And airspeed's alive. We're looking for 70, or 65 to 70. Temps and pressures are still in the green, generating full RPM. Light stick pressure back. And one my traffic, many 702 to two south on the- Positive point. rate, now gear up. So bring the gear up. Okay, gear up. Excellent, the air to the southeast has you in sight. We'll run up on you in seven kilometers. So you can I put like your uh, HSI on 293, okay. and your course button is on the left side. 293. We're climbing at 1,000 feet per minute. CHTs look good. I'm on traffic, money coming through to a midfield now. So that green bar to the left, does that mean we're to the right of the course? Yes, we are to the right. And, okay. and look at this, we have a 23 knot wind and I'm still fighting it to stay on there. I'll talk you through this, you have the flight controls. I have the flight controls. The flight controls are yours. So fly to the left and capture your localizer, the green diamond, and Nine. then fly up. You've got to get up to your glide slope too. You're the white bar and the glide slope is the green diamond. Okay. Now let's bring the prop full forward. Prop full forward. Gently. Nice. Okay, now, capture those green diamonds. And the key is you don't want to S-turn. You don't want to go crazy. You just want to get up to them and then capture those and then hold them with your stick. So what that is, is a constant radius, constant altitude. With a turn on a point, what you do is it's a changing radius and changing altitude because you're focused on keeping the wing on the point. So now the, if you're doing that, the, it's behind you, so you have to push the nose over a little bit and keep the rudder steady. Okay, left turn. Left turn. Uh, bring it way on around so we don't go into... Um, here, let's really crank it. Okay, yeah, we were heading right over towards... Uh, okay, so 
of, I want to fly to the north of the field, so let's go to a heading of uh, 260. 260? Right turn 260. Hey, I mean, I'm, uh, can you hear me all right? Hey, yes, sir. Pretty bumpy on the departure leg there. Really bumpy. We're, we're considering coming back. Oh, God. <laughs> you guys took off on, on uh, two nine? Yeah, we did. I don't know what... It, I don't know what looks out to the to the east if you take off one one, but uh, it's not very fun going that I've way. I've never never had that happen on the downwind like that. Oh, there's a goose. We almost hit a goose. Longmont traffic, King of Nine, two Delta Victor crossing, two nine altitude, Bravo two Longmont. Okay, so now we bring our prop forward on the downwind. So bring the prop full forward. Full forward. Yep. And then let's go ten degrees on the flaps. I'll go ahead and lower the flaps because I've got the indicator up here. And I'll go right there. Okay, now I bring in a little power to maintain 90 knots. Got a heavy nose. And we're going to make this a little longer because of the turbulence. Okay, so you have the aircraft. I have the aircraft. And let's keep it at 90 and start your base. Pass the extended center line. That's like the third time in my life I've ever done that because I wasn't paying attention. Uh -huh. I was looking out to make sure nobody's sneaking out ahead. This one on uniform, uh, now four miles in around a 45 for left traffic, 1-1. One, one. Okay. Clear, clear, runway, Longmont. Longmont traffic, Mentor 894, short final for 2-9, uh, touch and go, Longmont. Okay, so here we go. It's right. your airplane. Longmont traffic, airplane. Turing 510, uh, Quebec, midfield downwind for 2-9, Longmont for touch and go. Okay, so you you have the power. All right. And the wheels are down. So gas, undercarriage, mixture prop, the, and the prop is full forward now. So let's do a touch and go. So we're 92 now, so when we start getting over uh, airport road, we can bring the power back. Okay, so we bring the power back here. And head for those white boxes up up ahead. So, small movements. Let me show you how to do this. All right. Feel, feel my grip here. Feeling your grip. I'm not jerking it around. And I check my gear one more time, and I and I let it touch down. Well, and, and it powered up. Five one zero nine Quebec turning base for two nine. Long and now we're already at rotation speed. So we t we lift back and we lift up again. Okay. Now bring up the gear. One nine uniform. Two thousand five hundred over Lake McIntosh and a downwind one month. I'm not going to eat. Whoa. Yeah, a good time to call it. Oh, yeah, they were, they were spot on about that. Yeah. Holy. Holy shnikes. <laughs> Zero nine, Quebec is clear. Thank you. Uh, Mantor 894, short final, full stop on 1-1, uh, uh, long mind. Okay, so here we go. So, Did you get it, Tim? Uh, oh, yeah. It was, it was like a jackhammer. <laughs> okay, good. I, I'm not full of crap. Well, I still am, but that's all right. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So double check the gear. Always, at this point, check your gear again. So we'll bring the power back. Now watch this. I'll lean to the side. Okay. I'm going pretty fast. I'm going 90 now. I'll go ahead and drop a little bit of flappage just to slow us down. And that'll help slow us down. Feel that? Yeah, that was a good landing. Yeah, thank you. 894 is rolling to the end here. And I'll bring the flaps up only because I know it's the flap handle, okay? Otherwise, you want to wait and pull up your flaps off the runway. Okay. Um, because if it, in a complex airplane, you could, like I said the other day, put the gear up. Long mud traffic. 894 is clear at Alpha 1 off of 1. They got some muscles there. <laughs>